What's a coincidence that you think about a lot? I know that this one's microphone sucks, so I'm going to try to get through this story as quickly as possible. Well, back in high school, how long ago was that? A real long time ago. Baby! It had to have been at the end of sophomore year or something like that. And um, there's a spot that we used to go to downtown that a group of people used to come from school and head down there every Friday night just to hang out. That day, I was rolling the door or something because I remember getting two large pizzas just to feed everyone. Everyone got their slices and everyone got full and we didn't even touch the pizza for like a good 20 minutes. As we were still hanging out, these two dudes in like raggy and baggy clothes come out of nowhere and said, hey, how you guys doing? And everyone was like a little afraid and shocked because two big adults just show up out of nowhere talking to a bunch of high schoolers. We said fine and they was like, whose pizza is that over there? And I said, it's mine. I bought it for everyone. And they just like, uh, do you mind if we could have a slice? I said, actually, I think everyone is full here. So I went around and checked to make sure everyone was full and didn't want any more slices. I grabbed two more because I'm a fat ass, and I gave them both boxes and said, here, just take the rest of it. And when I tell you that both their faces lit up so much, they shook my hand so freaking hard that I thought I was going to pop out of my socket. They both kept telling me thank you as they were eating and pounding down the slices as they walked off somewhere in the darkness. One of the NPCs over at the bar somewhere saw what I did and said, did you give both of them that pizza? I just shrugged my shoulders and said, yeah, I don't see why not. So fast forward into 2019, and I was working in retail at the... <laughs> I was working the morning shift by myself, so I had to run register and try to do stock at the same time. And the gentleman walks up to the counter, so I had to drop what I was doing to go ring him out. Then the usual banter, hello, how you doing? Are you good? How's your day so far? You find everything okay? That whole stick. Give him his total, he reaches for his wallet, then he stops and stares at me. And he's like, you look familiar. Working retail for a while, you hear these comments like all the time. So you start becoming numb to it. So you get that whole monotone tone to it. Like, yep, we get that a lot. He goes, no, seriously, you look really familiar. Like downtown familiar. Well, that made me stop and look at him. I couldn't picture the face, but he was right. He did look a little familiar to me. And he asked me, did you used to hang out with a group of people at the downtown alley? I hesitated before I answered. And I was like, yes, I did. He asked me, did you ever get into a conversation with two homeless guys? I said, not really. The only conversation I had with two homeless guys is when I gave them pizza. And he got excited. He's like, I knew it was you. I knew it was you. I was like, oh my God, how have you been? And we gave each other a, mm, I mean, some dap. We gave some dap. You know what I'm saying? So we caught up a little bit. He was telling me how his life is back on track now. He has a wife and kids. Everything's going well. And he stops and tells me that they had no idea what they were going to do that night because they were trying all day to get food and no one would help them. He said, because I gave him that pizza, they were able to eat for the next two days with it. He said he would never forget that because out of everyone that they asked for money or asked for anything to eat, that I was the one that didn't hesitate to give him anything. I just told him I was happy to help. Then he asked me, for what reason do you have to help somebody that you don't even know? You spent a lot of money on that pizza, I bet you did, so why? I just said, do I actually need a reason to help anyone? He's like, that's what I'm talking about. People like that. People like you is what we need in this world. If it wasn't for you, I don't know where I would be. Then he said it was nice catching up. I said, likewise, he goes on his way. And I said, I hope you have a good rest of your life if I don't see you again. I said, you too. I'm glad everything worked out in the end. I'm just happy that I was able to make a difference in someone's life.